Hi there, I'm Rachel Berlin with RLV Art Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sombrero that you can actually wear. Now this sombrero is made out of paper and other art supplies. So we're gonna start with something that is two dimensional, such as this flat sheet of paper, and then we're gonna turn it into something three dimensional that you can actually like walk around and you can wear it. Let me show you what it looks like once I have it on. So this is my paper sombrero. A sombrero is a hat that you find um, in Latin America, I would say, you know, like, like Southern, um, South, South America, uh, Mexico. Um, you would find these, um, so that's, that's where you would find them. Now you can um, make these many different ways uh, but today I'm going to show you how to use how to use paper to make one of these and let me just stick it on for you so you have a, a band right here a headband so you can wear it on your head and there we go there is my sombrero my paper sombrero I see that my hair is getting a little messed up here but, but that's okay you know that's all right now why did I decide why on earth oops why on earth are we making a paper sombrero well i figured that because you know tuesday is this is cinco de mayo which is the fifth of may and it's also taco tuesday so all of these things make me think of mexico um so what i thought would be super fun is to teach you guys how to make something that you can actually wear that is art so today we are going to be making these paper hats sombreros so let's get started so the first thing that you definitely are going to need is you definitely will need a sheet of paper now this is construction paper and it measures 12 by 18 inches so if you have um, a sheet of paper that's 12 by 18 inches that's going to be um, a good size for you if you have something smaller that's fine you can still do this project so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to draw this out on paper and you're going to use a pencil to do so so for supply wise you definitely need some paper you need a pencil and then you need some sort of coloring utensil um to add my designs on my paper hat on my sombrero i use paint i use acrylic paint because i had it ready so i had used it from a previous class so i figured you know i don't want to throw this away why don't i reuse it if you don't have paint you can use any other coloring utensil that you do have at home crayons colored pencils markers oil pastels um, i'd probably stay away from watercolor paint just because this isn't watercolor paper um, and it might get all weird on you so you know you need some sort of coloring utensil you're going to need a pair of scissors because you're going to be cutting some things out and then you also need a strip of paper that you can use for the band and you'll probably want to use um a stapler to hold everything together okay so those are the supplies that you will need to finish this project all right step one to draw this out the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a straight line from one side of the paper all the way over to the side of the paper kind of towards the bottom you you know definitely don't go right in the middle you could kind of scoot down a little bit so you know like down here it's close to the middle but it's further to the bottom of the paper than it is um, towards the top of the paper and it's definitely not directly in the middle try to make your line as straight as possible sometimes what i do when i'm doing a project like this is i make a mark I'm like, okay, so maybe I want to start there. Let's see, I'm going to draw a line across like this. There we go. And I'm going to make my mark here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to fill this in. Fill it in like this. Now for this project, I'm gonna come a little closer now so you can see this. Um, for this project, if you have some other things at home that you might wanna like glue on, like maybe you have some um, yarn or maybe you have like some sequin that you like, or, you know, you can glue anything onto this um, that you would like to, to jazz up your hat. It doesn't have to be just one material. You know, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. 
So let me show you, I'm gonna put some more light on this so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we have this line and because it's a little hard to see, I'm gonna use a marker and go over this so you can see it so much better. Okay, so we've got our straight line from one side of the paper to the next, all right? The next thing that we want to do is we want to draw two slanted lines like this. We don't want them to go all the way to the bottom of the paper. All right, so two slanted lines. So something like here and then over here, I'm going to do something like this. All right, so those are my two slanted lines. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to draw another straight line that goes from here to here. All right, so it kind of looks like the beginning of a boat. Looks like the beginning of a boat. But you guys, we're not making a boat, so we've got to change this. Now, sombreros, they have a very large brim, and then they have the top of it, it's kind of pointed like, it's pointy like a cone. So what we want to do next is we're going to make the cone shape right here. So we're going to make the cone shape that goes right. It's, a, it's like in the middle, it's in the center of the hat. So if you want to, what you can always do is at the top of it, you can kind of make your curve at the top and then you can fill your lines in. Okay, so something like that. Give you a second. Looks pretty good so far. Doesn't look like a boat anymore. Well, kind of it does still a little, I guess. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to address this area. Because we want this hat to look like it's three-dimensional, even though it's only 2D to start. We're going to draw a part of it, like where the, um, where the brim kind of goes around. We want to draw that in. I want to show that it, you know it draw, goes around this the brim goes all the way around the hat so to do that you're going to start here and you're going to make a slight curved line that goes to this cone like shape so it's going to look something like this the same thing on the other side okay so now this looks like the shape of a hat. It looks like the shape of a sombrero. So what you want to do here is you want to figure out what you want to do at um, the bottom of the hat, which is where it's going to be close to your face. So it's going to go like right about here. Now what I did on my original is I had some pieces coming down on my hat. So I have this, these little like tassels, I guess that they would be that come down the hat. Now, if you don't want to do those, you don't have to, but if you would like to do those, what you do is you draw some shapes in here. So you know not to cut these out. You want to cut around them. Okay, so there we go. So now it is time to jazz up this hat. Now I think I'm gonna use a combination of Sharpie and paint just because I have the Sharpie out and I'm ready to go with it. So let's see, what kind of designs do I wanna create? I think I'm gonna make, um, I think I'm gonna do like a, a zigzag line down here. Okay, so there's that. And then maybe I'm gonna do one at the top right here. And you don't have to use zigzags, you can use something totally different. Okay, so there's that. In here, I'm gonna just create, I'm gonna make this like a different color. Just It's just gonna be one solid color in here. But the top up here, hmm, what do I wanna do up here? Maybe I'm gonna make a line here. And then maybe I'm gonna make a zigzag line like this. This would be great to wear at like a Mexican fiesta, um, you know, or of course wear it tomorrow for Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. 
Um, so you could wear this for many, many different things. Or every time you have uh, some sort of Mexican food, you know, take out your sombrero and wear it. All right, so I think I'm going to be done now with this step. And the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to add some more color to this using paint. Now, like I said, if you don't have paint, that's fine. You don't have to use paint. I'm going to use it just because I have it. So maybe I'm going to paint some stripes in here. And I want to paint this one solid color. Now, if I go beyond the lines, it's okay, because you're going to cut this out. Okay. I color this in because then it makes it look like it um, has some depth, so it's not so flat. You know, I have another really fun project where you can make this really cool necklace um, using something flat. Have to share, I'll have to share that another time. Okay, so I've got some cool designs there. Let's see, I'm gonna come back in here with this. And then we up here. And then you know what, I think I'm gonna add some circles, maybe some lines down here. Do I remember what shapes I'm cutting out? Hi. Uh, I think I'm going to add some circles up here too. Now, like I said, if you don't have paint, you can use any kind of coloring utensil you want. You're just, you know, jazzing this up, decorating it. And I'm, I'm not worried about staying inside of the lines here at the top like this because I'm going to cut this out. I feel like it needs something else. I feel like it needs like another color. Or so you know what else I'm gonna use? I think I'm gonna grab some, um, I think I'm gonna grab, uh, I think I'm gonna use an oil pastel. Oil pastel works really, it shows up well on colored construction paper. Um, it usually shows true to color. What else should I do in here? Let's see. Now, when you go to cut this out, you definitely want to wait until um, the paint is dry if you're using paint. If you're not using paint, then you can cut it out whenever. And like I said, if you have other things that you could glue on, you could glue some other objects onto this. Uh, you can really, really, really jazz this up as much as you'd like to. All right, so I'm waiting for this to dry. Well, this is drying. I'm going to go grab a couple things that would be a good idea to glue on.
Okay. Now, you know, I, I have an art studio. I work in the art studio. Um, so I have a lot of different choices of things to choose from because, well, I'm in an art studio and this is my job. But what I do, what I've done in the past is I save like broken jewelry, like jewelry that I can't wear anymore because it's broken for some reason. And a lot of times I'll like break it apart and I'll reuse it for something. So if you have like broken jewelry or you have um, other colored paper pieces or you have yarn or you have string or you, you know, you have anything that, that you would normally like kind of, you don't really know what to do with or you could throw it away or, or um, maybe mom and dad have something, um, use it. Re reuse it. Find find something fun um, to do with it. So I've got some. I've got, I found some gems. I have some gems, um, and I'm gonna glue these on. Where am I gonna put them? I don't have a whole bunch of them, but I do have a few. So I think I'll put this one like right here, and then I have another one I'll put here. See, I don't have a whole bunch of them, so I'm just kind of. So I'm kind of like scattering them a little bit. I'll put one here. Now, if you've ever seen a real sombrero, oh, they are real fancy. Really fancy. They've got like gems on them. They're embroidered. They're they're really beautiful. They're very, they're very heavy too. Very heavy. Okay, so here's my sombrero. So that's what I have so far. So now that it is done, uh, and it's it, looking like my paint is almost dry, what I want to do next is I want to cut this out. So I'm going to cut along the outside edge of this, just along the outside edge. And when I get down to here, I only want to cut these pieces out right here. So I'm going to grab some scissors. Got myself some scissors and I'm gonna start cutting this out. I think I'm gonna go with these little pieces first and cut these out. Now, when you cut, it's important to go slow. Take your time. No like speed cutting. You don't want to cut super fast because when you cut super fast, you always make mistakes when you're cutting too fast. You end up cutting something off that you don't want cut off, or you end up cutting into some into your into the actual object that you are cutting. Um, and then you got to figure out how to fix it. So when you are cutting, go slow, pay attention to what you're doing. Come over to the other side and cut this out. All right, and now I need to cut the top. I have extra paper left over. You can save that and make something really cool with it. Don't throw it away. There's always more projects that you can do. There's always ways to reuse things. So save the paper. All right, so here's, here's my hat so far. Now I have no way of getting this to attach to my head at the moment. Like it's not gonna, it's just not gonna stay here like this, right? So what I need is I need a strip of paper that will fit around my head. So you, you will need another sheet of paper that you can use. You want a, a skinny sheet of paper that you can, that will fit you know, you want it to wrap all the way around your head so it touches in the back. Um, you might need to use more than one piece to do this. So I'm gonna grab, now like I said, I'm in the art studio, so I have, I have a lot of things to choose from. Now you're probably not in an art studio, so use what you have. You might have to take two pieces, um, put them together and staple them, and that's fine, that'll work.
Okay, so here's what I have. I have these strips of paper right here. Let's see, is this, let's see, is this quite big enough? Nope, this is not quite big enough for my head. And I have, I have a, like a really little head. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put these pieces together. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna staple these pieces together. So they're stapled together. If you don't have a stapler, you can always use tape. Tape will work too. So for now, I'm just gonna tape them together. The stapler, I left the stapler upstairs. So I'm gonna tape these two pieces together. Tape them good. I'm gonna tape them on both sides because I don't want them to move. There we go. So now I have my, my band. All right, there we go. I've got my band. So now I want to see if this fits around my head. All right, this definitely, <laughs> this definitely now fits all the way around my head. And you can see. So what you might want to do is you're going to have to, you know, you're going to need some assistance with this um, measuring to see if this is too big or too small or just right. And once you get it just right, you're going to, you're going to staple it later. You're going to staple it right there. But what you want to do is you're going to take the hat. So I've got my long strip that's, that's going to wrap around my head. You're going to take your sombrero and you're going to attach it right in the front like this. You're going to attach it in the front like this. See, you want to attach it to the front. Now I found that um, a stapler works best for this to hold it in place and I staple here here and here. So I kind of go right toward, I use it in the center, right about in here. So here, here, and here, I'm gonna staple it together. Now, like I said, I left my stapler upstairs. So I'm just gonna tape it right now so you can see how it looks, but you definitely wanna be using a stapler because the stapler holds it all together. Um, if you don't have a stapler or you're not allowed to use a stapler, you could always glue it, but then you have to wait for it to dry. You definitely have to wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna flip this over. Uh, you could use tape too. Tape will work. So you could use tape, you could use glue, you could use a stapler. I like a stapler, I think it works the best. So, but for now, because the stapler is upstairs, I'm going to um, tape this. And tape might be better. Actually, tape might be better for you. Then you won't have the um, staples like kind of itching your head. I know that sometimes when I use a stapler, um, the staples, if it's on the front, like where my forehead is, it kind of like doesn't feel very nice. So you can use some tape. Tape will work too. Just tape, tape, tape. Okay, so now your band is attached. All right, looks like this. It's not very pretty, but we're more concerned with what it looks like in the front. All right, so then what you wanna do is you want, this is when you're gonna need somebody's help. You're gonna hold it up to your head and you're gonna wanna wrap it around so you can see how tight you wanna make this. All right, so you can see how tight you wanna make it. So back here, I, you know, I wanna make it right about here. So I'm gonna hold that in place. I'm gonna lift it away and maybe I need to tape this in place so it doesn't scooch on me. Tape it in place. Again, tape, staples. Um, so tape and staples and or glue, whatever works, whatever you've got. I've got this big piece right here. I don't need that. I'm gonna cut that off. I have extras. Cut that piece off. And then there we go. So now I have my cool sombrero. Now if you want it to lay, if you want it to be more flat this way, you can pull some of the tape off a little bit so it lays a little bit flatter. And then let me put this guy on. 
And that, my friends, that is how you make a sombrero. I hope that you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment or if you'd like to see more videos, check out the other videos that are on this page. Also, be sure to check out all the art classes that you can attend um, using Zoom. The Zoom classes are private classes and I get to see you and interact with you and help you one-on-one -on -one or in a small group setting. So I hope that you had fun making your paper hat, your sombrero. Um, now it is more three-dimensional. You can walk all the way around it and it's wearable art. So. Have a lovely day. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I will see you next time.